This is the St. George's branch of the New York Public Library on Staten Island, near the ferry terminal. Sorry. There's a security guard there named Al Vass. He was better known as Samson during his pro wrestling career in the early 60s. He became better known as being the premier referee in New York during the heyday of local wrestling events in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So for, I was refereeing for like 31 years. So I'm a legend. It was old school professional wrestling. It was pre, the, the finish was predetermined, but it was, the whole thing was ad-libbed. Including the referee. I mean, today the referee has a thing in his ear, and the, and the director is telling him what to do. I didn't hear anybody telling him what to do. I went into Madison Square Garden into the ring, and like 22,000 people booed me at the same time. I didn't even pay no attention to me. And that's me, Al Sampson Bass, when I first got started with professional wrestling. This is John Tolis, the Golden Greek. This is uh, Sweet Daddy Siki. Uh, next we have Tony Cazenza, the Flushing Flash, George the Animal Steel, ripping up another turnbuckle. This must be about a thousand by now. Uh, next we have the Gorilla Monsoon, the great Gorilla Monsoon, who's uh, squeezing the neck of somebody in there. It's legal because it's on his shoulders, it's not on his neck, it's on his traps. And this is the uh, Masked Super Destroyer. This is our Staten Island, this is uh, Bobo Brazil. Big strong guy, Ivan Koloff, and I'm uh, telling him to uh, not use any foreign objects. Gorgeous George, I wrestled Gorgeous George in Sunnyside Gardens when I was first getting started in professional wrestling. Drew huge amounts of crowds. Ivan Putski, known for Polish power. Uh, this one here is Big John Studd in the dressing room in uh, Staten Island, the Rainbow Arena. Andre the Giant, the great Andre. Sweet Hansen, playing cards. <laughs> Captain Lou Albano, the famous Captain Lou. Don't. And this is Bruno Sammartino and myself. I refereed a lot of Bruno's wrestling matches, and Bruno is still, to this day, a very good friend of mine.